what's going on everybody one more for today um this one here because we've been really looking at jordan rookie cards uh a lot uh through history with the fakes that are out there along with the cracking of slabs and everything else just so you're aware that if something comes up to where uh say one of the big auction houses or somebody reports the PSA, the card in this case, may be a fake. They can lock the uh, serial number until the real card is found out there to prove which one is the real one, vice versa. And this has happened now a couple times that I do recall offhand. So I wanted to bring that out real quick because PSA is doing some due diligence on this because back in the day, some of the older slabs were not sealed really well. And anybody that's been dealing with PSA for a long time will know what I'm talking about where they weren't like sonically welded together very well, so they were easy to pop open. And you could replace the card into it and then seal it yourself real well if you had the knowledge and the equipment. And that's where a lot of this stuff came into play at to where, you know, the label, the case, everything matches up, but the card don't look right. So sometimes stuff doesn't go through PSA as a trim card and people back then are using this older stuff. Now, also be aware this was, uh, I think one of the pictures that they show is like a Probstein or something on there. And know that a lot of times when they scan this stuff, like they actually... The scanners will make things look a little bit different, like they remove some dust and particles, stuff like that, too. So it may look make the card look a little bit altered in a way. But let me go down and show you guys. This is serial number here. So basically you're on a lookout for it. This is ever since, I want to say this was back in May. Yeah, May 8th. May 8th, this was talked about in Golden Auctions. So you really have to know your Jordan cards, um, especially from this era. There were so many fakes out there. And there's a lot of good videos out there and websites you can go to. So I'm not going to hit all the key parts to look at. Mostly a lot of people look at the back with the eyes, the bull, um, the coloring, these dots, the period. You come down here and you look at this. Just a lot of times you don't see these lines here because it's a bad copy job and so on but a lot of people that are really good with the printing are saying these dots in the pink don't match up the cut on the edges isn't correct stuff like that there uh, oh here it is i knew somebody was going to put this there that with the probstein auctions uh some of the features in the car have been removed by their scanner such as dust and debris removal software because they want to make it look clean for everybody i, I knew there was something on there, and that's a probstein one here so it, it shows the history behind this stuff. And if you want to go through, I'll link all the articles that have been done on Blowout so you guys can see it. But I really would like to, I think I'm going to start making kind of a library or something on YouTube. Or at least being like with a title so people can look at it. But with a cert number because this is locked right now, like I said, with PSA. And... It's just amazing, you know, the stuff going on out there. And if you got some big money, we know these have been selling big. I mean, there's been a drop in them, but still some money going on when you're uh, out there when you're dealing with cards. But be careful what you guys buy out there. I mean, I'm not trying to damper everybody's moods always. I'm more about bringing some awareness and stuff that's going on that I'm seeing daily. And I know some people said they don't ever get to see stuff like this and i'm like well we'll make a video on it you know and make some awareness onto it out there i'm trying to see here uh oh here it is the half tone pattern on the front is completely wrong the dot pattern the pink portion on the back of the card is wrong too uh some of the printing on the back is slightly different than and way too dark for this set the cuts right and left on the edges are completely off too so like i said there's a lot of people that know this stuff out there um they're really good at what they do uh just if you ever come across something that's why i always say you're probably gonna get trolled i'm not gonna lie people love trolling everybody you are like is this card real or not but if you could find a couple guys that are on blowout doing this stuff and be like hey i'm sorry to bother you but 
I have this card. I got it when I was a kid. It's never been graded. I don't want to send this in and, you know, pay all this money to find out it's not real. Can you help me out? And they probably will help you out more than likely. I mean, that's what these guys do. They they sit there and go through stuff to make sure that, you know, we're not getting scammed out there. But this is some good stuff. When you read through this article or through all this, stuff, I think it's like seven or eight pages long. But some crazy, just look right here at another one. This talks about the auction type. But you can look up a certain number. It's been locked. I thought this had a lot more posts on it. I guess not. Oh, there's more threads. But be on the lookout for it, guys, in case you're out there Jordan hunting. It is a 10. I know it's way up there in price. But one of those things to always bring awareness in case somebody out there has something they've been holding for a while and they want to trade it for a Jordan rookie 10 and you just, you know, get caught with the old expression with your pants down type deal. But appreciate everybody watching the videos. I uh, appreciate the support out there. If you're new to the channel, make sure you always hit that subscribe button. I do various videos across the board. I got uh, some giveaways that we'll be doing up here as well. I've been, uh, I had, well, I don't want to get into it. It'll be another video tomorrow. But I end up trying to, I won a card in auction I wanted to use for a giveaway, and the guy just has never mailed it. So I'll make that into a video tomorrow once I go through, leave the guy negative feedback, and then go through uh, eBay for the refund onto it. But other than that, everybody, take care. Have a good rest of the week. And I'll see you guys hopefully on overtime Friday night.